welcome to another episode of Adventures in Movies Looks At dot dot dot. My name is Nathaniel Muir and I am the movie editor at AIPT. This week I'm joined by the hosts of Adventures in Movies. Hello. Hello. And this week we are looking at Getting to Know You. Getting to Know You was made popular by Julia Andrews in The King and I. And that's actually not what I want to talk about. Oh, <laughs> no. getting to know you is <laughs> getting to know you is a rom com about two strangers who meet and pretend to be married. And if you don't know where this is going, you have never seen a movie in your life. <laughs> so, very first question: What did you guys think of uh, the couple, Luke and Abby? I believe. What did you think of the couple? I loved them. I I loved how genuine they were like i they were the most interesting thing in this whole fucking movie and everything else kind of fell flat around them but uh the couple i really did like their chemistry i did really think there was something happening kind of like a sam Sam diane type of thing like i really (laughs) did like the chemistry a lot that they had um <laughs> am, am I wrong between the three of us? Am I wrong to say that Danny, you're the biggest rom com fan? Yeah, would that be a fair statement? I'm not. A, I'm not a huge. Fan. I, think, I think you're right. Now, 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 after that, I I, I will say that uh, I thought they were awesome. I thought they were really really cool. They uh, yeah, uh, genuine is what you said. Yeah, very natural. Great chemistry between the two, which kind of leads into one of the questions I have. We'll get to it later. But uh, I enjoyed them, and that's super important for a rom com. If you can't get into the leads and why the hell are you even watching it? Um, and, and what did you think, Blake? Yeah, very, I think I thought they were likable, um, very likable from the get go. Which, yeah, like you said, it's very important. You, I mean, if you can't get behind these two, then the movie is shot. Um, but I, I kind of disagree with Danny. I, I think some of the more fun stuff uh, was not them. I thought some of the some of the other characters were more 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 fun anyway. So, yeah. well, let's get into that. Um, so, rom coms kind of they always have a lot of characters in them. Uh, getting to know you. Not an exception. Plenty of characters going on in here. So, uh, Danny, you thought that they kind of fell flat? Well, okay. So the ones that I feel that fell flat were the hotel uh, workers. But I do like the joke that they had throughout the whole movie, um, which I thought it was a really funny running gag where everybody's either not there or running late. And that made those characters, like the priest, the, the best friend, um, he was the best friend, right? He's they were like best friends in high school. Uh, very likable. Like, I, I guess I like the priest a little bit more than the 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 hotel workers and then right. the ex girlfriend. They were all interesting characters, but I feel like the gen like the chemistry was with which again you do need with your main leads, and I feel those two were really really great. So where did it fall flat for you then? Ooh. Okay, so I don't think this is the greatest movie out there. I think it's very like redundant. <laughs> it's a rom com, none of them. Are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I feel like this is you get this in an episode of Dawson's Creek or like some sort of like right. thirty minute sh- episode of Big Bang Theory or something like that. You know, uh, it's been done. This is nothing original. Like you, you. This is <sighs> like well, this is a whole fairness, base. In all fairness, with rom coms, like there is an expectation. That the audience has and um if you're going to do a romantic comedy you do have to meet those expectations there aren't too many rom-coms and i'm talking successful ones that stray yeah. very far from the formula like very yeah. few of them do at yeah. all yeah yeah and there's there's a lot to do the the same thing over and over but you, you know i feel I, I guess i've been seeing like rom-coms since I, I was a little kid like my dad and mom would force me to watch these movies and there's where we're meeting two perfect strangers um the cute couple they meet in a cute way yeah i thought that was pretty cute cool. hijinks <laughs> i thought it's, the movie started like fucking fast and fast and furious and then it kind of like slows down and i was like oh okay we're we're here now but i i think what falls flat to answer your your, your original question is like i think um the the zaniness is like where we get it super like up up close and personal and then it kind of dies out I feel like the plot. I feel like the plot is what falls flat, but I was still very interested in keeping, like, keeping on with this movie. Like, I didn't feel like I need to turn it off, or like, I just need to go. 
Well, you bring up a lot of interesting points there. And, uh, Blake, you mentioned that you did like some of the uh, supporting cast, or all of them, uh, even. Yeah, you know, I thought the... Uh, I, so I thought that the brief little interludes where it was like, you know, the hotel is kind of its own character with, like, the ridiculous staff, and yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, was was, it, is he, was any one of those performances like, oh, that was super... No, but I like <laughs> I liked the character of the hotel. Um, mm-hmm. the, the people he keeps running into, I thought those were the moments that added flavor, and I thought those were the by far the funnest moments of the movie. Um, the the things that, to me, kind of fell flat were, like, I, I felt like almost every scene in this movie was, like, two minutes too long or a minute too long. Like, it, everything was kind of protracted. And uh, <laughs> it, it kind of felt like, you know, it, like you brought up, like, a TV episode. It very much felt like like a TV episode, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, and so I guess that's why, I, I, if that stuff had been a little bit more fast-paced, like a sitcom, like really had a like a shot like a sitcom, I thought it would have flowed a lot better. Um, even though I did, I did like, I, I thought the, the quirkiness, like Danny put it, I thought the quirkiness was, was a lot of fun. This is going to be the shortest episode of this ever because you guys are like, all the questions that I had, you guys <laughs> are just giving me an yeah. Okay, so uh, running We're gag. We're on it today. Yeah. The, the yeah. running gag was actually one of the things I had, the hotel being its own character, people got, and kind of they're caught up in their own little lives and foibles and all that. I thought was um, maybe hilarious is too strong of a word, but I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the film. I think we're all on the same page with that. Um, pacing, Blake, you kind of brought it up. I absolutely agree that every single scene is minimum of two minutes too long. I mean, some of them are <laughs> well five to that. ten minutes too long. I mean, this movie is close to two hours, and yeah. it easily could they could have saved off twenty minutes. Easily. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. As I mentioned, it, it started really like super fast. All the, we get everything pretty much thrown at us, and then once I guess that crazy night is over, everything kind of like just slows down a bit. We uh, we haven't said anything about spoilers, but there's a funeral. Uh, right. But, you know, it, it, the monologues are pretty good, but I just don't, I do feel like some of these things kind of, like, ran its course a little bit, and I'm just like, let's let's just keep on going, like... I'll move on like, type of Yeah, let's just move yeah. on already. We're, we've already been in this scene too long, let's just, uh, go. And, uh, Danny, you bring up a good point, uh... It's a rom-com, so there's not many spoilers, but uh, Funeral, that's, you know, part of the synopsis of it. But uh, we'll touch on some things that happen, but we won't ruin anyone's enjoyment of this rom-com, which, as Danny said, <laughs> is not very, we are very far off from the formula. Um, what did you think about it following so strictly to the formula, Blake? Uh, that was probably its biggest fault. You know, it was a little just too formulaic. It really felt like, uh, like boilerplate uh, material, like... Um, again, this is an incredibly small budget, and I, and I think they did a, a great job with that. You know, yeah, right. they kept they kept it tight uh, as far as uh, setting, and there's like a house, there's the hotel, and there's a, a church, or a chapel, yeah. um, and that, that's it. That's basically it. So right. I, I I like that, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it that was. <laughs> That was maybe the biggest problem with it. It's like a notch above guerrilla filmmaking. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. It is so close to that. And at first, honestly, the when the first moment of the movie, I was like, "Ooh, boy, this this could be really off putting," because I, I, it really was like kind of like a Hallmarky mm-hmm. feel. Maybe yeah. less less yeah. though. Very and, uh, adult oriented. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> yes, we, yes. Very quickly, we see that it's uh, yes, yes. going to be a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, I, for the most part, I agree with you guys. I think it follows very, very closely to the formula, but um, I think it's kind of like a slasher. Like, a, there's really no need to go away from yeah, that formula. Yeah, and I think where it does get away from the formula is with all the encounters and all the characters. Um, lots of running jokes. We talk about the hotel, but him being this like kind of uber man from high school that everyone knows, everybody loves, <laughs> everyone yeah. looks up to, all the women love, like. I thought was really, really funny. Um, yeah. It could have gotten really old, but then they only keep it to what three or four characters. Yeah, because really, yeah. so. yeah. the most, the whole rest of the movie, he plays the opposite of that. Which is, so it's nice. It's a really nice juxtaposition of character. <laughs> yeah, they actually do a really good job of that. It's that's that's pretty difficult to pull off, but uh, that goes back to the chemistry and everything. So. Mm-hmm. Lots of characters. You mentioned the the preacher who could have been a real estate salesman. Um, but he's used car salesman. <laughs> yeah. uh, as any other rom-com, or most other rom-coms, it, it has the one that got away, Kayla. Uh, what did you think? Uh, she was my favorite character. Uh, like talk, <laughs> talking yeah. about uh, supporting characters having the best moments. Rachel Blanchard. Rachel uh, Blanchard. 
That's right. Her that her introduction, and I, I thought that I thought that took way too long. It was like a good 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> However, during what was going on, she was so funny. Down to him when he kneel, kneeled down to I don't know, put on her shoe or something. She says, "I do, I do." <laughs> Just I, I could swear that she ad libbed that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was great. She was great. The, she had some of the funnest moments, and I really did. I thought the acting was really kind of pretty good uh, throughout this whole thing. I agree. Yeah, I agree too. I agree on that. So, um, as is the case with rom coms, there's uh, lots of uh, melodrama in it. Um, the one thing that I didn't think worked out so well were the dramatic scenes. Um, I thought they kind of came out of nowhere and they were a little too much. <laughs> yeah yeah it was like two two scenes too much like you know the minimum is just like two minutes of like the scene going too too long i feel the the drama beats were a little just one too many uh i think we need to cut down cut it down yeah. a little bit from that and i think that's where we could have saved some time uh <laughs> in, in this whole movie uh it it was just too much. Well, it, was like like... The, it was like the director was like, feel! I need you to feel <laughs> right now. We've been silly, but nope. Hold the phone. I need you to feel emotion right now. And it was, I need yeah, you guys it was... to rein it in. <laughs> yeah, rein it in. It was a little bit forced, I feel. I, I, yeah. The dramas was very... The drama scenes, the dramatic scenes were very forced on us. It's kind of like... It. Yeah, I... Uh, I don't... Uh, no. So with uh, <laughs> romantic comedies, I mean, they can only end in like two or three different ways. And there's an expectation that it ends in a very certain way. Um, guy gets the girl, they live happily ever after. What did you guys think of the ending of this movie? Um, I, felt yeah. like the, I felt like they, I mean, I was fine with it. It's, you know, but uh, I, I thought it was shot very well, actually. I did it. I thought it was shot well. But um, I kind of felt like they didn't know how to end it. Yeah. It, yeah. That, yeah. Felt like that that conversation could have like happened at any point during the movie, and um, it just that was like, all right, again, feel, we need you to feel, we need you to feel <laughs> here real, real quick at the end. Yeah. Exactly, because it, it did look like it was going to go in the way that you know you expect it to go, and then it did it, it doesn't quite go as expected, and it, yeah, you're right, that could have happened at any moment. I feel like it, like I think since we started the movie, I was like, oh, we're getting we're going. It reminded me of a couple of different movies, the Before Sunset series and Once, which is a musical. And they kind of end, well, Once ends with, like, the guy not getting the girl. And I was like, oh, it's going to go that route. And um, and I was like, but if it goes that route, we could get, like, a trilogy of movies with these two characters and this crazy town. Um, But I feel like uh, the ending was kind of, they didn't know where to go, but they already had this ending. They had, like, here's the first shot, or here's the first scene, and here's the last scene. Uh, they had those written out, and they were going to just meet in the, meet in the middle. I, I feel that's what was happening. Because um, everything felt, you know, we have the silliness, and we have, like, this very seri- seriousness, and then everything kind of, like, meshes in, in the, right in the middle of it. I was All right, so f- <laughs> uh, final thoughts on getting to know you, which will be available uh, on digital um, tomorrow, actually. Uh, Blake, would you say rush out and see it? Is it eventually stream it or completely avoid it? Uh, I think if you're in a sappy, romantic mood, it's perfectly acceptable to stream. Don't expect too much. Uh, the acting's pretty good. There's some funny moments. Uh, stream it. And what about you, Daddy? The yeah. rom-com fan. What do you say? <laughs> I would say I'll say I would say streaming. Uh, yeah, I mean it, the acting is pretty strong from the two main leads. Uh, it has mo- funny moments. Um, just yeah, don't you're not expecting a lot of it. I um, mean, there's other movies out there that I would probably recommend before this one. You know, I, I would say there's not too many, uh, not new ones at least. No, I, I would like there hasn't been that many good rom coms lately. Sure. Um, yeah. As I would say to stream this, I mean it's uh, it's really well acted. It does do something. It doesn't do anything different with the formula, but it has a lot more interesting characters than what you're normally seeing. So it's worth streaming. So uh, every week you can find us here on Adventures in Movies. Looks at dot 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 where we will look at rom coms or horror or any other thing that we're in the mood. Um, open review policy. Leave a comment below, and we'll uh, maybe I don't know. We might check it out. I don't know. We'll leave that up to Danny. But uh, we will talk to you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Adios.